Hey guys, my name is Megan and today I have a book review for the Red Pyramid for you. Okay, so to start off with, I have fallen so in love with the Canes. I don't know why people don't love them as much as they love Percy and all of his crew and Magnus and Apollo. I don't know why people don't like these guys just as much. They are absolutely wonderful and so sarcastic and funny. And this book was just like hilarious and serious kind of all mixed together. It was just wonderful. <laughs> I really love how this kind of like really delved deeper into the Percy Jackson universe. Rather, um, it just kind of helps expand the universe once you know that the Canes are set in the same universe as Percy Jackson and they're actually like right across the river from each other in New York. Um, and it really just kind of helps establish just how many different kinds of mythology there are in this universe and how many of them are real and which ones are um, potentially going to get books. And I, I really particularly love this book because it really did, it did a wonderful job of blending Egyptian mythology and the Egyptian system of magic into this already known kind of universe universe and bringing up all the like cool historical little bits you know mentioning archaeologists and uh, archaeology in general and um, different museums and I love that the gods have kind of kept up with like modern times just like with the Percy Jackson series are kind of modern and they're keeping up with the times and they're not like stale like you can see that these gods are adjusting to modern times and taking everything in stride and it's just a really good book in general. One of the things I thought could have been tweaked a little bit in this book was the like traveling type scenes so like oh we're getting on a bus we're going through a portal we're going here now we're gonna go there like that kind of stuff it, that probably could have been that probably could have been um tweaked just a little bit to make it a little less wordy and overly drawn out because some of those scenes just ended up being really long and I know that they're kind of there to help with transitions and I just kind of felt that they were overly long a little bit other than like the traveling scenes themselves I loved that this book jumped from location to location to a new location every couple of chapters it seems. So we start out in London, we end up in Egypt, we end up in Washington DC, we end up in New Orleans and Tennessee and Memphis, um, Arizona and back to Washington. It's so much fun like seeing how many different places this book can take us and I really like that each place had its own distinct like character because you can definitely tell like the scenes from New Orleans and Memphis they felt like they were in the south and they felt very much like New Orleans and very much like Memphis. And I've read a lot of books set in New Orleans so I there's this certain like kind of feeling that goes along with reading about New Orleans and it just seems like Riordan really knows what he's doing when he's characterizing places and you can feel like you're actually there and feel like the atmosphere of each different location. But yeah I really really loved this book. It was just so interesting and I know it took me forever to read it but I'm so happy that I finally did. The Canes have been on my reading list for a very long time. Probably about the same amount of time Percy Jackson has been on my list and I'm just so happy to finally get to read them and like I said at the beginning of this these characters are so funny and I just don't get why people don't like them as much. I mean they are every bit as well-rounded and well-developed as Percy and the whole gang. The humor in this was just totally amazing and just really like it hits the spot for me. For my young adults urban fantasy kind of genre this is perfect and it goes right up there next to Percy Jackson in my opinion. So overall, I really did love this book and I gave it a four and a half out of five stars. If you guys have read this book, what did you guys think? Do you like it more than Percy Jackson? Do you like it just as much? Do you like it less? Let me know down below. Also, other question, would you want to be a demigod or a magician? That's a hard question for me. If I had to pick between being a demigod and a magician, I would have to go demigod just because I think that's a little bit more interesting. However, I do love the canes and I love their magical abilities. So maybe, if I, maybe I could be a hybrid. If I could be a hybrid magician and demigod, that would be awesome. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can also hit the notification button. And if you'd like to check me out on social media for more book reviews and more bookish like stuff, check out my social media. I will leave the links to it down below. Alrighty, bye guys!